daily out here in the line of duty. And truly, if we save one life, one life with these vests, uh, then it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. And what an organization to be able to take. These would have just been stockpiled uh, in a back corner at the Bureau of Narcotics, and today they're going to be of use. And just today, they, they awarded some, some vests today and they, in Oklahoma, and they've got great stories to tell that these are going to great use. And we're very proud of this. Uh, and we are very proud of the, uh, an operation like this and to be a part of this. So uh, with no further ado, I'm going to introduce Travis Yates, a Tulsa police officer who's part of this organization. Travis. <coughs> Well, it is very honoring and humbling to have the opportunity to come here to OBN. I want to thank the director and for Christy and for Mark and for everybody that has enabled this to happen. It takes a lot of work on OBN's part to do this. Our part is fun. We get to give vests to officers that need them, and we, we get the emails and the phone calls of, from family members that are so appreciative. So what we do really is, is enjoyable, but it takes a lot of effort from agencies, and it takes a lot of courage from agencies to give the equipment to, that they own and to trust us with that equipment to put on the backs of the officers around the country that need them. And uh, we, take, we don't take that trust lightly. We're very humble to be a part of that. And if it wasn't for agencies like OBN, now the largest donation from an Oklahoma law enforcement agency that we've ever had, if it was not for agencies like OBN, we would not exist. And we would have thousands of officers out there without vest. And so, it is my, uh, my honor to be able to be here today. Thank you. There's nothing.